I photodestardon VM19 night vision periscope from the flea market. So it was 35 euros at the flea market, which is a very good deal. Serial number 15045, made in 1981. So it is obviously a battle tank night vision periscope with this armored prism assembly on the top. As you can see, uh, eyepieces here with probably some missing rubber and uh, forehead shock absorber thing here in good condition. This one, one high voltage connector at the bottom to uh, feed in uh, the high voltage for the photo multiplier tubes. There is just one contact in the middle. So with a big insulator. Apart from this, no user control at all, not even a power switch, focus adjustment or anything. I have seen another model of this on eBay which has two focus adjustment buttons here beside the plug, but this one is missing it. The only control you have is actually a lever to adjust tilt position of a unit that we will lock like this and it is all. So we have a big access panel here which will give access to the contents but for this I need first to unscrew the, uh, this here because it is in the way and also this one. So we have uh, of course it is uh, imperial hardware because it is US made very nice quality by the way uh, stainless steel screws quite uh, good ones in imperial but they are good I will then do the other side here so you cannot expect to find a lot inside, in fact, because uh, there is no high voltage source, it is external. So, just the photo multiplier tubes, some uh, prism of optics, probably, some uh, prism assembly, and eyepieces, maybe some kind of uh, power splitter for the high voltage input, but not sure even. I have a sort of the plate here. <coughs> so these washers, you do not want to lose them. They are uh, special for uh, screws like this. And I believe quite hard to find. In particular in uh, imperial size. Okay, it is very heavy, this thing. Everything is made of uh, steel, I believe. And we'll check actually. Now, this is the cast aluminium, but all this part is uh, the cast steel. And really, really heavy, this thing. This might be maybe brass. Okay, you can see there is an adjustment, and uh, here you can uh, set a lock screw that will prevent you to go too far. Okay, it is much better. Now I have to find something. Okay, actually it is to undo these two uh, locking mechanism here that will unlock the uh, top prism assembly. I did uh, prepare a coin that uh, I did file with uh, emery paper to have the exact correct size but I do not find it anymore so I will use a screwdriver instead. So you can see everywhere there is a reference number written. It is just like on my uh, turret and gun controller from the uh, uh, from another flea market. Check my uh, video about this. Uh, there is a model 
part numbers written everywhere, so when you need to replace a part, it is easy to find which one it is in your parts catalog. Okay, so this part, obviously, if you have some battle damage, you want to be able to replace it quickly in the field. So it is just lock two locking mechanism here that will loosen this part, this prism assembly, like this. Big Imperial Allen screws here, a big prism assembly, armored back. Well, more or less, I believe it is aluminium, but still. And uh, probably armored glass on the front. But okay, here we have just the two inputs of the photo multiplier tubes. Nothing in particular, except again a model number written on the ring. Yeah, I'm not sure if you will see it, but it is there. Okay, and to reinstall this, it is very easy, just put it in place and turn clockwise the thing. So very nice design, by the way. Okay, it is reinstalled. So really easy, but now we have to open this main cover, and it is another story. Okay, before I pop off this cover, two things. First, there is something making noise inside. We will find out what it is. And I did notice slots here on the sides, probably to do some kind of pry bar action to unglue the cover. Because there is probably a seal that is quite sticky. Yes, it is exactly that. When you take apart a lot of this kind of stuff, and up knowing what you, will, you can expect. Okay, actually, quite a strong smell inside this thing. Uh, you can see, yes, they did manually apply a seal, and they did even overshoot a little bit here. The back of the plate here is uh, natural. Uh, Aluminium dust cast color, not even polished or anything interesting. And here is what we have. So, as expected, uh, high voltage input, splitter here, two boxes here and here with probably some kind of maybe voltage multiplier, two prism for the right angle to the eyepieces. And the photo multiplier tube is GIN6914. They are worth, there is some guy selling them $200 each on eBay. New old stock. I got the whole device for 45 euros. So it is good. Some fingerprints, by the way, on it. And, oh, I see something. There is actually a loose screw here. Uh, for sure, it is a screw coming from this device. So, where did it come from? And also, look, loose washer. So, we are missing somewhere a screw and a washer. And I believe it might be. Ah, it is in this one here at the corner. Why was not it not uh, correctly attached? I have no idea, so I am going to see if it is possible to. So this uh, photo split layer tubes, it is just uh, I know uh, uh, cylinder chrome color cylinder like this with glass at the top, glass at the bottom, and the high voltage connector. So not much in particular to see. I am not sure in fact if I should be able to, if I unscrew this, what will happen. Anyway, this is already half uh, undone. 
and I want to have a look inside. So let's proceed on and do this side. I have to this screw here with the black wire. Okay, quite easy. It allows me to extract the wall box. In fact, much easier than expected. We have what seems to be uh, probably high voltage resistors, two of them on a quite uh, not straight backlight plate or phenolic plate, something like this with terminals. Nothing else in the box. Interesting. So it is just uh, stuck in the box like this. And it is a screw at the back which is uh, putting, it at the, putting it at the correct uh, spot. Quite uh, weird. So I will try to undo this side. Maybe this will pull out, in fact, not sure. So let's, let me try to undo. The screws from this unit and see what happens actually. So, very straightforward content you can see. It is a quite a rare unit. There is another one for sale on eBay in very bad condition at $80. And it is all excuse me. To find this tool. Okay. <coughs> Oops. <coughs> this one was tight. Okay. We should be good to go to try to lift. This unit here, and it will go nowhere because of locating pin. Okay, here we are. So we have. Oh, it is super simple to undo actually. The photometric player tube by Varro. I will clean out the fingerprints out of it, and I guess. This might be a good thumbnail for the video, like so. Or even like so. Okay, so quite straightforward unit, you can see. Seems not too heavily used. Serial number engraved inside. Dead code of 1981, so they are original to the device. Interesting. And here we just have the high voltage uh, contact going to this part. And it is on, on your prism assembly at the bottom. So very, very. So I guess it works in any uh, position, it is not uh, very important for position. More fingerprints, and it is not me. On this plate at the bottom, for the grounding, obviously, making ground to the contact to the other side of the tube here, and it is all. So very straightforward unit, as you can see. Okay, and it is reinstalled like so. Okay, so interesting, really. This device, quite a good and unexpected flea market find, by the way. It is not even if the big yearly flea market is known for antiques and things like this. Uh, this kind of equipment. In particular, when the sellers do not know at all what it is and sells it very cheap. 
as a thinker material, more or less, it is really interesting. It happens once in a while. Sadly, not uh, enough for me. But when it happens, you cannot miss the opportunity to get something as well at a good price. If I wanted, I could sell this unit on eBay for easily, I believe, uh, around 100 euros. Even it is in uh, apparently good condition. Not sure about the status of the photometer tubes, also. Sadly, I have no matching power supply to test this thing, so. Must be uh, probably a uh, white painted uh, box with some controls and a uh, high voltage generator inside. I will uh, search on eBay if by any luck uh, one pops out, pops on on eBay and uh, gets available for me, but I do not uh, expect anything. Uh, and you know what? I did just lose the super oh, it is. long screw that goes in here. Um, was assembled like so with a spacer here excuse me I am a little bit out of the frame quite a little bit oh you're doing also this assembly here so now I can try to reinsert here if I find the screw on Okay. This is a uh, obviously the grounding size side of the cabling and I am able now to reinstall the screw that was off. No idea how it went off. It was pretty well sealed this unit so I did open it one time when I was back from the free market but it was the seal was really really sticky so it was not opened in a long time and no idea how the screw came off okay it is open so here we are for the M19 uh, night vision periscope if I get any opportunity to find the uh, matching power supply, I will be happy to test this. But uh, for now, I do not have the necessary equipment. So, thanks for watching. Do not forget to share, like, subscribe and watch my other videos. Bye bye.